News now thousands of protesters in Hong Kong staged a Thanksgiving rally today to thank President Trump for passing new pro democracy legislation. But there's still plenty of tension in the region with North Korea launching its first missiles in a month in an apparent attempt to pressure the U.S. to restart nuclear talks. CBS 4's Remy Innocencio reports from Seoul, South Korea. South Korea's military says the North fired two projectiles, likely from a super large multiple rocket launcher. The missiles were reportedly launched from North Korea's eastern region and landed in the Sea of Japan. Japan's prime minister called it a threat to his nation and the international community. The move appears to be an attempt by the North to pressure the White House to make concessions in nuclear talks, which have been in a deep freeze. South Korea's military, together with the United States, is monitoring the area for more launches. Meanwhile, North Korean ally China is reacting furiously to a move by U.S. President Trump. Mr. Trump signed the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act, prompting huge crowds of anti-government protesters in Hong Kong to wrap themselves in American flags to celebrate what they call a moral victory. We should use this opportunity to express our gratitude to the U.S. Congress and its citizens for supporting Hong Kong in the past few months. The law passed both the House and Senate and allows the White House to sanction Chinese and Hong Kong officials who abuse human rights. The Hong Kong government has called it unwarranted, and China quickly summoned the U.S. ambassador to protest the move. Ramey Innocencio, CBS News, Seoul, South Korea. Police have arrested more than 5,000 people since the unrest began in June over a Chinese extradition bill that's seen as taking away freedom from Hong Kong residents.